Hello and welcome to this lesson on the CG Anglo Concertina for the lovely old Stephen Foster tune, O oh Susanna. This is a tune I've known, I think, most of my life and I've played it on several uh, instruments. I probably played it first when I was about four years of age uh, on a ukulele, a ukulele banjo. Um, but we're going to do it on this uh, concertina. And it's a really good one for a beginner just to get used to playing more than one note at a time on the right hand side. There's a bit of a temptation when you're a beginner just to play single notes, but here is a great opportunity to play some harmonies, so we're going to get into that. So the first bar is a pickup bar. I should say we're in the key of C major, so no sharps or flats. We're going to be mainly on the C row, that's the middle row here, okay? And uh, four beats to the bar. Now the first bar is a pickup bar. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and. So you come in on beat four. It's two quavers, four and, and it's C, which is button number six, and D, which is button number seven. Push, pull. Now, the Notion software that I use to score my music uh, reads that first pickup bar as bar naught. So bar number one is the next bar on the next stave. And you can see you've got notes in pairs. The tune sounds like this in those uh, two bars on that stave. And underneath that, you've got a little harmony. And obviously, you can see the last uh, two notes in that uh, bar number two. There's no harmony. So we're having a nice, nice little harmony there. Now, let's show you how we do that. Right, the first pair of notes, you've got C, uh, which is button six and E, which is button seven. Fingers one and two on the push. Now you leave your second finger on the E, lift off your first finger. Your third finger goes underneath on button number eight. That's a G, so that's an E and a G. You do that twice. Now you leave your third finger on that uh, button number eight, and you put your little finger underneath on button number nine, and then you pull. Now, I call it kind of leaning over on it. Have a look. Kind of lean over as you put the little finger down. Timing there, it's crotchet, crotchet, dotty crotchet, quaver. So one, two, three, four, and. So first two beats, easy. The third beat, you've got that G and E. They last for uh, the whole of beat three, half of beat four, and that pair of quavers, the A and the F, come in on the and count of four. So it's one, two, three, four, and. Now I'm gonna deal with the left hand at the same time with this tune. Um, I think it's important to try and get that left hand happening. Uh, like I said, in the first pickup bar, there's no call, no left hand. Uh, with the left hand of bar one, you've got this. Um, the pretty obvious um par um par on the C chord. Uh, you've got C bass, which is button number one, C row, little finger. That's the um. The par is C octave as the middle C, right in the middle of the concertina there, button number three on the push. And at the same time, the first finger goes on the E, button number four. So you have um as a C, par as a C and an E. Okay, and that's going to work like this. Now, when you play that, you'll play the C, um, if you like, as you play the C and E in the right hand. You'll do your first par, your first C and E, as you play E and G with the right hand on beat two. Then you'll do your um again, as you play the E and G dotted crotches. And then you'll do the par, the last par of the bar, the, the, the C and E again, while that uh, dotted crotchet, G and E are ringing. And right at the end of the bar, you'll pull out, uh, that's that leaning thing, uh, to do the A and the F, and there'll be no bass there. The um and the par, the bass line, uh, they are on the on beat, so one, two, three, four, like that. And that takes a bit of practice, but it sounds great, doesn't it? And it's 
it's kind of like playing the harmonica. There's definitely a relationship between the uh, Anglo concertina and the harmonica. Uh, the harmonica, you are blowing and sucking. Uh, reeds on a concertina, you're pushing and pulling. But the, you know, it's essentially the same thing. Okay, that was an awful lot of explanation just for one bar, wasn't it? But it's important to get that uh, sorted out.